Hey guys, Cole here. Today's my first Go Animate video of 2023. And today is also my first Go Animate tutorial video. So, my friend Gabriel Dropout FTW124 asked me on how I got the Kitaru and Scary voice working in Rapper Offline 2.0.0 beta when they are broken in this version. And in this video, I will be showing a tutorial on how to do just that. Now let's get started. The first thing you need to do is download BlueStacks. I will put a link in the description of this video where you can download it. Once you have BlueStacks, you have to make sure that you are signed in with your Google account. Once you're signed in, click on the text search bar and search for VoiceForge on the Google Play Store. Then download VoiceForge on the Google Play searching web. I already downloaded it, but hang on a second, you have to download something else. You also have to download personal DNS filter, this is just because, well, VoiceForge tends to throw a lot of ads at you. Which can get extremely annoying, make sure to click the download button. I already downloaded it. Once it's installed, make sure to click the open button that's behind me on the screen. Once you open up personal DNS filter, you should get a pop-up saying, personal DNS filter connected. This will block all ads on VoiceForge. And then, open up. Oh hang on, you have to download something else before opening up VoiceForge. You have to download Audacity. Make sure to download Audacity at this site here. I will put a link in the description where you can download it. Once you open up VoiceForge, select which voice you want to use. And type in what you want the voice to say in the text box. The next thing you wanna do is record your text to speech voice forge voice. And you can either use Bandicam, or OBS Studio. I prefer using OBS to record my voice forge voice. I will put in a link where you can download one of these in the description below. Also, there's another app that you have to install. Here's the reason why. If you try to import the audio from the video you recorded of your text to speech voice forage line, an error will pop up saying that you need FFmpeg. Click on installing FFmpeg right here and it should take you to a download site. I will also put a link to this site where you can find it in the description below. Now click on this link right here. Then click a download link of the bit version you use on your computer for FFmpeg. Also, once you do that, a license agreement window should pop up, and you will have to click the I accept the agreement circle button on it if you want to use FFmpeg. Next, go back to Audacity, then click edit, go to the bottom and click preferences. I already have the located library file put in, if this says file not found, click on locate, then click yes if you still want to locate manually. Then click on the browse button. Then look for your FFmpeg download file and click on it. Then click on the bin file. Then click on this file and click on the open button. And the last thing you do for FFmpeg is press the OK button on both of the two remaining files after clicking open. Also, I recommend that you have headphones while listening to the audio of your text to speech voice forge line. Because if you don't have headphones, an error will pop up. And if you want to trim part of the audio where you can't hear the voice, click on a part with the left mouse click button while holding it and drag it that way. Then click the delete button on your keyboard and it will be trimmed out of the audio. Also, if you want to change the sound of the audio, go to the effects and drag to which effect of audio you want. The effect I pick for Kataru is 15, and the effect I pick for Scary Voice aka Damien is 30. Next export the audio file as a mp3 file. And name it whatever you want, then click save. Once you go into rapper offline, click on an avatar you want to use the voice for, click on dialog, and click on upload file. Next, click on upload file right here. Once a window pops up for your downloads, click on your mp3 audio file you made and click open. And finally, click add voice. Now that you've done that, you finally got the voice forged voices working in rapper offline 2.0.0 beta. Sorry about the yelling. I'm just so excited to use the voice forge voices in this version of rapper offline. But anyways, that's it for this tutorial. See you guys next time.